How's it going everybody? Uh, this will be my first YouTube video slash Facebook video. I don't know where I'm going to post it yet. Um, I'm going to review um, Smoky Mountain Army uh, care package. I got the General's box. I've been getting it for the last uh, six, six, seven months now. Uh, this is August box. Um, this is just a general overview um, reactions and unboxing on what knives you get from uh, Smoky Mountain uh, care package. Uh, again, this is general box. It's $200 um, plus tax. There's no shipping on it. Uh, so it comes up to being $211. And for the last six, seven months, I've been really happy with it. Uh, there's been some ups and downs. There was a really good box where they actually had a um, $200 value, $199 value knife um, in the box. And, you know, and then you got all the other knives in it um, that valued, I think it was like $340. Um, that's their MSRP uh, rating on this. Um, for the general's box, uh, and that's just what it is. Um, five star general's box, uh, from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, been really happy with it. Uh, this is another knife that I got in one of the previous boxes, a K bar, uh, Corsair, um, Space Force knife. It's a coated blade, um, pistol grip handle. It's really nice ergonomically. It fits really nice in, in your hand. You can choke up on the blade, uh, get a lot of things. So that's going to be our unboxing knife. Um, so we'll cut into this and just going into it. Um, going to be... Uh, channel is going to be unboxings, uh, overview of different knives, um, reviews, outdoor stuff. Um, there's going to be blogging, vlogging, uh, general um, stuff that I do on a daily basis, uh, a lot of stuff in my business, um, a lot of things to do with um, jewelry, awards. Um, engraving that's my main uh, my main business um, that I run out of my house uh, I have a website and everything else um, trying to get everything situated with that uh, the pandemic you know, unfortunately stop uh, had me actually switch gears I had a brick-and-mortar downtown here um, then uh, just been doing things like that uh, out of my house for the last year and a half so let's get into this and we'll do the unboxing and look at these knives all right well that's a pretty big box let's uh get some things out of here all right let me move this off to the side here and we will pull these knives out it's a big one we'll get that one down here there's a case buck ooh bench made nice okay so that's a good that's a good brand um bench means a classic brand uh case is really good to see and the buck and a doug ritter everybody's been talking about these so uh also you get you get candy so you get candy in these uh, nice nice handful of candy uh, I love the the fruitsies. 
by Tootsie, Tootsie Roll, but they always throw in a nice assortment of candy in there. So we'll go back in there, move that out of the way. We'll set this up down in there. Packing slip. And this is our MSRP and everything else. So we'll set that, we'll take a glance at that and we'll go from there. Um, So, okay, Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It comes with oh, that's a that's a neat Norwal and looks like the fish from Finding Nemo. And we have uh, Smoky Mountain Knife Works blades flag patch um, sticker. Um, they always throw in really cool stickers. Um, I throw them on my safe, on my knife box, everything. They, they, they are really cool. So, one thing I do notice with this. All right. Looks like. Looks like they mislabeled this one on the slip. So let's go through. We have a combat ready fighting knife. That's the first one. So there's three levels to this box. So there's the generals, the generals club box, which is the one ninety nine. Then you step down to the officers club, which is ninety nine dollars um, plus tax, no shipping on that. Um, what's great about Smoky Mountain Knife Works is, you know, as long as you have a $75 or more order, uh, it's free shipping. And usually their shipping is really fast. So this shipped out on Wednesday this, this week. Um, and here it is Friday. Um, so two days shipping and it's coming from, um, them and getting to me in Pennsylvania in two days, which is, is awesome. So we have combat ready so we have combat ready we'll set these over here let's see what this knife looks like and it's gonna be a big fixed blade combat buoy type knife with a lot of oil on the blade kind of yeah so here you go it has a guard knuckle guard and fits nice 10 inches stainless steel drop point blade full tang yeah full tang right through so then we got um, black coated cast metal wrapped around hand guard which is right here there is a little bit of gap between the guard and the the blade here the the tang of the blade here um, 15 inches overall overall and weighs 11.5 ounces uh, Smoky Mountain price is eleven ninety nine, so that's good. Um, that's in the GI box, which is I want to say thirty nine ninety nine. Um, so we'll just go from there. Looks like there's a little sticker on there, so we'll put this back in the the case. 
is a nylon case, you know, also Chinese made fighting knife, combat ready. So there's that. That's pretty nice. Put these down here. Next up we have Rough Rider. Now I've been really impressed with the Rough Riders from Smoky Mountain Knife Works for these boxes. Um, copper Swirl. Black acrylic candles with genuine copper swirl. Interesting. I really like brass and copper on stuff. It patina is really nice um, when you use it quite a bit. Um, so let's get this one out. Nice presentation. Always is um, with Rough Riders. And for a knife that is $14.99, that's a Smoky Mountain Knife Works price. That's what you're going to pay when you when you want to pick one of these up. That is... Wow. Uh, I'm really impressed with this. So, that is definitely stepping up their game for Rough Riders. I am definitely going to have to start collecting their copper and brass series i have been really hesitant because i have some customs that are two three hundred dollars that i like to carry and fit and finish on this it is beautiful looks like let's see Beautiful drop point blade, almost like a spade blade, how thick it is. It is really nice. Needs a stropping. Definitely needs a stropping, but it is sharp. And then let's see, we have a little nano pen blade which is actually sharper than your main blade which is really cool um beautiful knife like i said it is really nice that copper really pops on that and uh half stops on it it's almost like a camo pattern which is really cool with that copper inlay. Um, it's really nice. I definitely really like this um, thing, this knife. Um, that I will probably carry, to be honest. That is a beautiful knife. Wow. I am really impressed with that. Um, for 15 bucks, that's that's a beautiful knife. Oh man, let's see. So we have so we have a Doug Ritter satin neck knife, 11.99 value. So I don't have any. Doug Ritters, but I've heard good things about their their knives. Um, a couple reviewers that I wow that thing's small, nice. It's about the size of an Altoids tin. Um, really neat. And there's a little neck knife. really cool small lanyard so you could clip this to another another lanyard or your backpack that would be good for your backpack really um, just as a secondary knife um, my backpack has a little oh that's that is razor sharp oh yeah that's razor sharp it's a Doug Doug Ritter 
RSK MK5. Beautiful looking little knife. Now, that is cool. Like I said, probably not going to be a neck knife for me. Probably going to be one that I either hang from my rear view mirror in my truck. Um, or uh, from one of my backpacks. This actually might go on um, my backpack that I put my pistol in uh, to go to the range. Um, I'll probably thread that through uh, one of my molly loops on that and tuck it in. And that'll just be a backup blade. Um, little sheath to it and everything. Uh, that's awesome. I'm really impressed with that too. How small it is. And that you still get almost a two inch usable cutting edge, which is awesome. So set that over there, set that over there. We'll put that right there so you guys can still see all the knife boxes. Put these down here. All right. Blackjack Tactical Pen is the last thing that you get in the GI box. Hmm. CNC machined aluminum body with a type 2 anodized pocket clip o-ring and black ink five and a half inches overall okay it's pretty thick pretty pretty good size Twist open, yep. Twist top down. It's not a clicker. And then there was something on the ink. Okay, there it goes. So, all right. I wouldn't say that that's a glass breaker up on top. There's no real point to it. So, screw that down. It's, it's a thick pen. It's a little bit thicker, um, more diameter than, say, your O Pen 2. Um, for $9.99, not bad. Um, it's not something that I'm going to use necessarily um but it is a pen pens are useful um i wouldn't say that the glass breaker is going to break any glass um doesn't say that it's a carbide tip or anything like that just cnc machined um aluminum body um like i said it is a screw down um as opposed to a click uh it is what it is um, it's a pen. You can still write with it. Um, not familiar with blackjack tactical, um, blackjack knives or anything like that. Um, but that is what it is. So, like I said, that's a general's box. And so we'll set that there. So you get... Let's see. You got the copper head, or Rough Rider copper swirl. You got Doug, Doug Ritter uh, RSK MK5 neck knife. Um, you got a combat ready buoy um, grip knife and a blackjack knives for $39.99. Um, so the value is definitely there in that box. Uh, so eleven ninety nine, so twelve, fifteen, twelve, and nine ninety nine. So you have roughly, let's say fifty bucks, fifty five dollars um, for this um, for forty or thirty. I I think it's forty dollars, thirty nine ninety nine um, plus tax and shipping. Um, 
get that box. It, it could be thirty dollars. It could be twenty nine ninety nine plus tax and shipping. Um, so that's the GI box. That's your low level box from um, Smoky Mountain Knife Works care package. All knives. Um, I've been really happy with with what they give you with that. So we'll pick it up and uh, go to the Officers Club box.